Good morning, it is Saturday the 1st of June. My name is Liam and I film myself every day. Pop it on the internet for you guys to watch and for me to remember when I'm old. Today in Germany is what's known as Japan Tag. Is it just Germany or is it just Dusseldorf? Is it just Germany? Or is it Dusseldorf? Just Germany, of course. Is it? <laughs> I'm getting so confused here. Japan Tag. Is it just Dusseldorf or is it Germany? Just Dusseldorf. So it's just Dusseldorf, not Germany apparently. We are going to Dusseldorf for the day with a few friends. We're going to hang out, explore some Japanese stuff. And see how the day goes. It is now time to go to Dusseldorf. I've not done this for a while. But I can come and train. What the hell? And we finally landed in Dusseldorf. I say landed. We're not on a plane, we're on a train. Uh, yeah, it's fucking manic here. So I don't know what I'm actually going to be able to film today. <laughs> but I'll do what I can. But honestly, it is arguably the busiest I've ever seen this city. Which is kind of wild. Just without a mention, I do also want to say, like, today is not the typical day in Dusseldorf. Like, it's not quite this busy. It's still a busy city, but it's never this busy. So like, don't let anything you see today put you off from coming here because like, it's probably one of my favourite cities in Germany so far, by far. Stop one whenever you come to Dusseldorf to get some balsa. This shit is amazing. It's what, a Chinese bakery? Oh. It's like a, a doughy bun with like meat on the inside. Really good. So glad you introduced me to these. The thing is, the first time I got one for myself, and he was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he tried it and he almost ate like half at once. And then we had to go back and uh, get him some more. I'm still not the greatest with food, but I, I used to be a lot worse. And I love this shit. Maybe this is why I'm getting so fat, because I'll eat food more. Because you're enjoying food instead of just eating it. You survive, yeah. It's good. To be honest, I actually can't be arsed with this. It is far too busy. It reminds me of like Edinburgh during the festival, which is like the worst time of year. But we're about getting on the ground train because we're going. Where are we going? Got to the old town. Lego store. Lego store as well. Got to get our stamp. Maybe even a Japan Day stamp. You never know. Aye. We're getting an underground train. We popped the Lego store, he even popped it in another air store, he even. I'll just show you guys. Like, it is so. so busy. It's just. there's just people everywhere. Um, this is. this, yeah. This is one hell of an experience, that's for sure. If you don't like crowds, avoid. If you do like crowds, come party, I guess. Right, so we went to pee. But just, just look how busy it is. It's just non-stop. 
We do see a car. Well, I don't see a car. Oh, I see a car now. Right, probably this way. Uh, aye. This is absolute hell and not really much fun. It's getting worse. Like, a lot worse. Like, what am I meant to do with that? What? Anna said I'm not allowed to kill anybody. I'll try. Well, it's been probably about two hours since the last vlog because we fled Dusseldorf because it started hissing down and we've only got a hoodie. It is soaked, it's disgusting, we feel banging, but we have stopped off in Essen because we're going to go for some food. We're going to go to Takumi, which will be nice, nice and ramen, warm us up. Uh, but yeah, just from what Anna and the guys have been saying, that the Japan day, just, it wasn't what it used to be. Like, it used to be a lot bigger, a lot better. Whereas now it's just an overcrowded mess, as you guys have seen. Um, like, we only saw like two th uh, a third of it, probably. Yeah. Like, the whole nerd area we just skipped because I would have been like all the way to the tower. And going back there would have not been feasible with yeah. the weather. So overall, an okay day. It was fun spending time with the guys, obviously, but aye. We're gonna go away with some food, because we're cold and we're hungry. You may have noticed, outfit change. I don't often wear a Super Mario <laughs> shirt, because I've never worn a Super Mario shirt. Uh, there's a volleyball tournament going on there, but we were that wet and that just ugh. It was like, do you know what, let's go to Primark and get like a super cheap t-shirt just to change into and it's made the world of a difference. That's why he's wearing Super Mario and I'm wearing Scooby-Doo. Yeah, just got changed into the street as decently as we could. Because um, the sun is out, it's like really nice right now. Yeah, compare, if you compare it to earlier, it's, just, it's night and day. Yeah. It feels so much better. Let's go get some food. We are now in Takumi. We have ordered. Got some chicken gyoza. You happy? The mains are on their way, but we're going to enjoy the gyoza just now. And now the mains have arrived. They're bloody massive. This is what I got. I don't even know. It's some garlic pork belly. This is Anna's. Is it spicy? It looks it. And one bowl later... Ramen was great. But I fancied ice cream. Anna was a bit hot from her ramen. A bit too spicy. It was just the combination of like suddenly being warm and it was just like... <laughs> it wasn't too spicy for her. There's no such thing. But... And I got some mango ice cream. Uh, and I'm a fat fuck getting three ice creams. Aye. To cool the stomach, you know. But then we're going to get the, the train back home. As predicted, the train's 40 minutes late. So we're just trying to figure out alternatives. We're just going to... What's up? That's actually alright. We're missing that one by like two minutes. So we're kind of stuck with the other options. We will film when we're back home and tell you the story. What a day that has been. That last clip that I recorded. Was it ten past eight? 
It's now 20 to 10. And to give you an idea of that trip should take how long from Essen to here? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. An hour and a half later, I think that's right. Yeah, ten past, aye, an hour and a half later, we're home. And we were standing in the train in Essen for like 15 minutes. Like, it was awful, honestly, like... There was an issue with a door. A single door on the entire train. It was just not close. And then, like, we got... I say we, like, we had influence on closing the doors. Um, <laughs> the driver, because he was quite funny, to be fair, from what was translated. But it was like... Oh, we finally got all the doors closed, like, we'll be moving soon, we just need to wait on all the other trains leaving. So it was like, yeah, great success, and everybody like was like, cool, like, ha ha ha, this driver's funny. And then some crazy Polish lady was, like, trying to get off, like, ten minutes later, because we hadn't moved, kind of thing, which is fair enough. And she was, like, frantically pushing the button, but obviously the drivers locked them all to stop people getting on. Because he was literally like ready to go as soon as he got the green light. Yeah. It was literally a matter of like we could get the green light any second, so he wasn't risking people getting on and off the train anymore, because yeah, like the train had supposed to leave. Yeah. Like it was not like, oh we like, we should wait because we're like leaving early. Otherwise, no. At this point, we were like, forty minutes late. So if you hadn't gotten off the train at this point. Tough shit. And then she was always pointing at the camera and was like, as if they were like trying to keep her on the train because it's her. That kind of thing. She was mental. Which is fair enough, I can understand her being a bit distressed because it, it like, it was, I don't want to say a stress, it was semi-stressful. It was quite tight. Like, the air very tight. The they, they had even turned the AC off kind of thing. And it was just, it wasn't the most comfortable situation. But to be gone mental like she was and like Anna was even trying to like, in both English and German, be like, You're, the doors are locked, you can't go anywhere, like, we're moving soon. But you could hear everybody being like, fuck's sake, like, just stop, kind of thing. Because people were actually getting worried that the door would open, and then not close again. Yeah. Because people just wanted to get home. Because, like, we had been on the train at that point for, like, 20 minutes, easily, if not longer. And there was other people in the train who were already there before we got on, so it was just like, yeah, people were getting pissed off and her being... Because the thing is, she was just chilling. And then all of a sudden was like, I'm getting off, kind of thing. Like, maybe she's had a bit of a panic attack. To be fair, she wasn't having a panic attack. No. Because you, you would have been able to tell. Like, she was just like, push the button and she looked... And then she tried to get a person outside to open the door for her. I was like, the door is not going to open even if someone from the outside pushes the button. That's not how it works. If the door is locked, it's locked. Yep. Yeah. But overall, it was a good day. Yeah, I yeah. can't, I can't argue. We we met with friends, explored some of Düsseldorf and Japan Tag. We had some great food, had a shit journey home, but it's fine. We are home, and that's the important bit. But this clip is now three and a half minutes long, so I'm gonna say good night to you guys. As I say, it's it's quarter to ten. We are just we're gonna jump in the shower, probably put on some YouTube, and then just go to bed. So I'm gonna say good night. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye.